if you're planning to apply to a bank or a fintech company, something like that, you're going to have to study some Android security. And to do that, you're going to head off to the documentation. You're going to find this stuff, app security, kernel security, securing an Android device. This is not where you want to be looking. This is just how Android itself implements security and how they think you should, uh, you know, secure your Android devices if you were to make an OS on your own or something like that. This is not what developers are concerned with. None of this stuff. So you have file-based encryption, full disk encryption, all of this stuff, the key store, what it does, how Android uses SE Linux, all of this stuff, verified boot, how it boots, how, you know, it protects you when you wipe your phone. For example, where you root it, it must uh, wipe all the data to keep it secure. All of this stuff is not what you want to be looking at. You're going to go over to cryptography for Android. So here you get to see the best practices while you test uh, performance, stuff like that. But at the end, here is where you are interested in protecting data at rest. This is the stuff that you as a developer should be concerned with. What encrypted shared preferences are, what's an encrypted file, how to read an encrypted file, how to write one, what's a key store, how to edit uh, encrypted shared preferences, how cryptography on Android is implemented from the developer's side, how to do it yourself. Uh, all of these things, generating message digests, which algorithm you should use, signature, verification. So I've went through all of this section and this one as well. Not all of this one, because just the stuff that interests us as developers. So I went through these two uh, to study for an interview that I had, which I knew was going to be about or going to have some security questions involved. Uh, what, what's a key store? All of this you should know. So I made a document describing all of this stuff. This is the document. It sums up all of the sections you just saw, which I told you are interesting to developers, and it outlines how you do everything from writing encrypted files to reading them, writing encrypted shared preferences, reading those as well, how the key store works, you know, generating keys, initialization vector, what, what that means, a cipher, all of these things. Then the key store here, all about the key store. Uh, I've learned that this is a, a good way for me to learn, to just take notes myself. And then the interview questions related to security that I saw personally from the interview. So I think this will help you. I'm going to leave the link to this document and a project where I've implemented this stuff in an actual project where you can just go run it, look at the key store, see all the keys that you created, read the file, encrypt the file, all of this stuff. It's implemented in a project where I tried them uh, to see how they work, really, all of this stuff, you know. So I'm going to leave a link for both in the description of this video. Use it. Even if you don't have an interview, it's good to learn. It's nice. You can say, I know Android security because I have had a sneak peek into uh, some code that is used in production by a big company and they use this stuff. Nothing more. It's not more complicated than this stuff. I saw how they used it. It's just creating a key store, making a key, storing it in there, using encrypted shared preferences. Uh, using the key to encrypt, you know, sensitive data and uh, you're good to go. You are now using best practices for Android security with this little code, you know, so it's, you know, really good to know. You should know it. So take a look at it. Try the project yourself. Let me know what you think and see you in the next one.